we're back rating every single randomizer possible on the Symphony of the Night randomizer website, sodenrando.net. And next up is going to be, please not expedition, nimble, 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 nimble. Yes! <laughs> if I had another fucking two hour long seed, I was going to explode. This, on the other hand, should be a lot faster. All right, let's get into it. All right, everybody. We're doing Nimble. Uh, we start with a bunch of really powerful movement options, duplicator, mana prisms, buffalo stars, all that fun stuff. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm, join the live stream, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. And yeah, we're going to play through this preset. We're going to give it our review at the end. I'll let y'all know how I feel about the preset at the end. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to play Nimble. Finally, we get to have fun on stream. No way. Uh, I'm starting to learn that a lot of the randomizer presets are really cool ideas on paper. But for my own personal sensibilities. Hey, we don't know. This seed could also be garbage. We don't know yet. I know that, um... Oh my god, we're missing out on the five extra MP. That's terrible. It's fine. I mean, the complexity is six, so it's like lower complexity uh, usually generally means shorter seed, especially because we start with like a lot of really powerful uh, movement options, but it also means that we're more susceptible to some like late game baits for specific stuff, so we'll keep that in mind. But because we start with very powerful movement options. <clears throat> we get a freaking Vlad Relic at the very start. Let's go! Holy! A minute and a half in and I get a Vlad Relic? This shit's crazy. We also have infinite mana prisms. So, like, losing the 5 MP at the start kind of sucks. But it's, like, you know, not the end of the world. The other thing that's important to note is that, like, the only things we really want equipment-wise is like library cards and an extra throwable. Oh, well, Fire Boomerang's not the best. No! Ugh. Nobody saw that. You don't know, <laughs> Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Ugh. There was a really weird glitch. You guys saw that glitch? I think it's a, 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 you know what it is? Twitch has been dropping frames again recently, and sometimes it looks like a stream has been uh, rewind, uh, is, is being rewound. So like, if you ever see the stream like look like it's rewinding, it's like a glitch, uh, ish, uh, a glitch from Twitch. So like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, what we did there flawlessly first try uh, every time was um, uh, death skip. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, rollback netcode. Pretty common in games nowadays. Exactly, right? Yeah. Just a little bit of rollback netcode. Also, back when Nimble was being routed in my tournament, people were doing this route, I think? Or Nimble was never in the tournament. Was Nimble ever, ever in a tournament? I don't remember if I put Nimble in the tournament or not. It was, right? I don't know. It's been a while. But I remember people were messing around with this route idea, where they skip... Um, All Roxas quarters. And I'm gonna kind of try that right now. Sorry, not all Roxas quarters, but um. Dude, Alchemy Lab, Jesus. Nimble was in because people were too cowardly to pay Batmaster. True. I do remember that discussion. That was a fun one. Let me look for a library card, because it'll be right here. I'm calling it right now. Bam! Library! I've been playing too much randomizer today, so, like, if I say things that are unhinged and silly, wacky, and wild, that's why. Eagle Pack, welcome. I didn't check the patch notes. Dude, roll back netcodes in the patch notes, surely, right? Pick up every uh, familiar card. Yeah, you know. He's been suffering for four hours now. Okay, Flamestar should be enough. 
damage wise. But it would also be nice to have a library card. Library card is like all we need now. Cube of Zoe is nothing. <clears throat> I mean, it could be nice to have a stopwatch, but it's not necessary. Dude, being able to just, like, from the start, fly and wing smash, like, it feels so good. Not only that, it's like all of these locations are open from the start with flight. So I can just go straight to Aurox's quarters, not have to worry about getting, like, freaking baited. Library card. Um, it might come in handy. Sure. Now I have a little bit of luck, so maybe these guys will drop a library card? Nope. Uh, money might come in handy as well. Congrats on the GDQ run. Drop by just to say hi. Well, thank you. Yeah, the GDQ run was a ton of fun. Um, very great response overall. People were very uh, positive. Every so often you get like uh, a really angry comment on a GDQ run where they're just like, uh, you're just like cheating or also your uh, run is stupid and shouldn't exist and also uh, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't get very much of that. That has happened in runs of mine in the past. I think the randomizer run got a lot of random hate for whatever reason. But this run is, like, mostly positive. I think the biggest complaint I got was that I was talking too much. And I'm just like, oh, boners. I know we just rose up a little while ago, but you can rise up again. What kind of hate do you get before? It's like the usual kind, like, glitches in speedruns shouldn't be allowed. You're what's wrong with uh, speedrunning. I'm not interested in speedruns anymore because all it is is glitch cheating, hacking to the end of the game without actually playing for fun or whatever. And those people are obviously morons and, like, aren't engaging critically with the idea of, like, the speedrunning community at all. But, you know. That's neither here nor there. What? I did I did a diagonal one, I swear. I'll go up here for a library card. I'm stupid. More money, okay. If the library card costs like 10k, then that was worth it, so. But we won't know until we get to the library. Unless we find one, so. No, there's just like a weird like anti-glitch. Uh, sentiment that exists online. Hey, some of the biggest speedrunners that you might even be aware of are somewhat uh, anti-glitch. I'm lagging the game on the fast... Huh? I didn't know you could lag the game on the, the, the fast core. I did it. Nice. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, overall, like, generally pretty positive. I will say those are, like, vocal minorities that complain about glitches and speedruns or whatever. Like, legitimately, the biggest complaint I got is that I was talking too much. And it's like, yeah, I need to explain the most difficult, glitch-heavy, most ridiculous... Because imagine I didn't explain what was going on and just, like, played through yet. Oh, this is reverse boss order. And then didn't explain anything. Like... People would be so confused as to what the fuck is going on. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, I don't take that criticism very, like, seriously. Because, like, logistically, somebody needs to be there to explain what's going on. Otherwise, the run would be unwatchable. Another VOD relic? You, sh you shouldn't have. Uh, this might be, like, a 20-minute seed, bro. They didn't read my donation comment. So about that... That is, I thought I messed up by not giving them the right info on the donation uh, hashtag. But I gave them, I messaged them, hey, my community is hashtag Joel. Uh, but I think because of Peanut Butter the dog, they were kind of all hands on deck to make sure that the dog speed run went through just fine. Uh, so because I was like a few runs after that, I think production was like a little bit messed up. 
Which is fair. They had a fucking dog speedrun a video game. Like, I think things being a little imperfect because of that is fair. Oops, wrong one. So no library card. Sag. Nimble world record hype. I mean, it's looking pretty hot right now. The only issue is we haven't found a progression item yet. And no library cards. Library cards are usually pretty important and nimble, but, you know. I seem nervous. I definitely wasn't nervous. Jesus Christ. Nimble world record confirmed, bro. It wasn't nerve so much as it was, like, late for me. So I was, like, trying to keep up my energy while also being tired. You know? Definitely, like... Nervousness is definitely not something that happens with GDQ or Marathon Runs for me anymore because I'm well aware that, like, worst case scenario, things go poorly, but it's like, who cares? At the end of the day, it doesn't, like, make that much of a difference. And best case scenario is things go really well, which is what happened with my run, and then, like, that just feels good. So you just, like, you just take the good with the bad, and it's not even, like, bad. Oh no, my randomizer world record is invalid because I rewound? No, please, anything but that. No, if my world record doesn't get validated because I did a rewind, I'll cry. Can I get a library card in the shop? For the boys? No, I was just taking advantage of the new rollback netcode. <laughs> library card, library card, library card, library card, library card, mana prism. I'm not seeing a library card. Alucard Shield, however, goes a little silly style. I have a Kingstone. Damn. Farewell for now. Yeah, worst case scenario, you make a fool of yourself on Twitch, which doesn't really happen. Like, that was a 0% chance of really happening. Like, more so, it was more... That category is like, oh, dang. Like... I didn't get the glitches first try, so like the we went a little overestimate or something. That was more what I was worried about. It's like, ah, oh, damn! Like I missed a frame perfect trick that lost me like two minutes, and I did that over and over again, and now I'm like behind estimate or whatever. Library card for your boy. Let's go. <laughs> but even then, it's like whatever. You know, there's always the next one. I want to do my best. I'm not going to throw. But also, the thing about marathon runs is that the general GDQ audience doesn't know shit about the video game that you are showing them. So you can get away with saying almost anything and doing almost anything. And, like, it'll be fine. Like, they don't know how hard anything is. They don't know how difficult stuff is. Obviously, you need to explain it to them for them to get an understanding to give them context, but but it's all good. I had to microwave my Xbox for this. Yeah, this trick only works if you get exactly 15 uh, qubits of data from a uh, cosmic ray hitting your CPU in just the right way. So I have to set my Xbox up next to a microwave. Set it on popcorn setting for exactly 15.27 seconds. Damn it. Terrible fight. I should reset. Doggy! Hello, doggy.
And for my next trick, just go up there and act like a magician. I'm going to need an assistant uh, from the audience. Dude, imagine I pulled somebody up on stage and then had them do a trick. That'd be hype. Yeah, that happened. That's why they don't set the consoles on the floor anymore. <laughs> All consoles are, are handled by GDQ staff now. To prevent, you know, any stomping going on. Uh, nice wing smash, nerd. Whatever. Bum, bum. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -bum. Okay, worst case scenario for us is that Merman statue is in Alchemy Lab. I'm pretty sure. But I think we're probably fine. Would any of you in the audience like to try uh, Richter Skip? Uh, how about you in the uh, second row of the audience? What is your name? Rom a scout? Never heard of him. Anyways, uh, do the do the skip. Wow! First try. Magnificent. Grab somebody to break the bridge for you on controller two. I did that. Bobby was my uh, bridge breaker for the SGDQ run. When I did the SGDQ run, that was on my PlayStation, and I gave my second controller to Bobby so he could blow up the bridge for me while I was speedrunning. That'll work, yeah. Imagine this is the final Vlad. Uh, maybe not final Vlad, but... Pog? And might I even say champ? Okay. We might know where the final Vlad is now. Yeah, it's speedrun Coliseum, uh, Coliseum Live specifically. We were doing a randomizer run, and then Rom Scout grabbed the controller and hit a first try floor clip, and that was very funny. We also did two players, one controller. Me and Rom Scout, and we never practiced before, and we actually did pretty okay. Man, this game's great. More people more people should play this game. Why nobody play the game? You should play Soten now. Yeah, this floor club was unbuffered. Of course it was. Rom Scout don't floor clip with buffers. Come on now. I think he learned how to do it, but I don't think he Maybe his world record did implement it. I don't remember. His old world records, he might have been buffering at that point. I don't remember. It's been such a while, uh, long time since he was, like, actively running the game.
People are ready for the the day that Rom Scout decides to actually like play the game seriously. Because there are still things that he does better than, like, anybody else in the world. Um, I think we kind of have to check out the merman uh, statue holy symbol shit. I think we kind of have to. I think his run is from, like, his PB is from, like, 2017 or something like that. It's pretty old. Hype for Prime 4. All right, I'm going to say something that is going to make people very mad. I have never played a Metroid Prime game. I guess that's not true. I technically played Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. <clears throat> I tried to play it, <clears throat> like I own the game on GameCube, and I tried to play it, and then I was like, ew, these controls are yucky. Same thing happened with uh, Resident Evil 4. I own a copy of Resident Evil 4 on GameCube. I tried to play it, and I was like, ew, these controls are yucky, <laughs> and then just never fucking played it <clears throat> because of that. Am I wrong for doing that? Yes. 100%. Um, yeah, no, too many library cards. No, too many mana prisms. Yeah, but I'm not going to pay money to buy a switch game. I'm sorry. Like I look. I'm not giving Nintendo any of my money unless I really, really... Dude, I fucking bought uh, Metroid... Uh, d -d 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 fucking... The other one on Switch. Metroid Dread. And I still haven't played it. I need to play that shit, man. Buying Switch games? What is this, 2021? That's what I'm saying! Switch got no good games, bro. The Switch has maybe 10 good games total, and, it's, and people love it, and I don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just a hater, but... Well, I know I'm a hater. I think Nintendo is one of the worst examples of, like, how to treat a fan base in video gaming. Like, it doesn't get much worse than how Nintendo treats their fans. But yeah, I, I feel like the Switch is literally the best games on Switch are all Wii U games. The only reason people are hyped about it is because they don't have to play a Wii U game on a Wii U. That's literally it. They're like, damn, bro. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze goes crazy. Yeah, on the Wii U, it went fucking crazy, bro. Damn, Mario Kart 8 is so good. Yeah, it went crazy on the Wii U as well. Bro, but Breath of the Wild, bro. Breath of the Wild went crazy. Yeah, on the Wii U again. <laughs> It turns out you guys actually just like the Wii U, but you refuse to buy it and then play games on it. Which is fine, that's fair. Anyway, it's time to buy a 3DS game for $60. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I can't wait for Luigi's Mansion 2, the 3DS game that they're selling for $60. Son of a bee! Left side is tempting. However... Oops, got the little bit of a 
terrain grab there. I need to give me a fucking Steam Deck, bro. That's what I need. If I want to play a portable con console, it's going to be a fucking Steam Deck. Uh-oh. That was Echo, which means the ring we found is in Logic, which means if I'm missing the other ring because it's in Alchemy Lab, I'm kind of fucked. Because we did skip Alchemy Lab. All five lads in First Castle? Yeah, probably. It's probably what? Missed at um, the ring location? Complexity, that makes sense complexity wise, right? Because we're looking at layer one or layer zero bat, layer one uh, jewel, layer two merman, layer three glasses, layer four rings, layer five mist, layer six last Vlad. Oh my god. Uh. Well, that'll do it. Because we're out of complexity options. It has to be missed at Holy Glasses. I'm like 99% sure to get to six complexity. This was a fast one. This is definitely a fast one. Final Vlad could be at Glasses. Oh, Echo into Rings. Uh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Which also means Mist in Second Castle is possible and also leads to Final Vlad, right? No, it can't. Can it? Because Mist would then be layer four, Final Vlad can't be at layer five. No, yeah, so no, this... So Mist was just bait? And this has to be Final Vlad? Actually? Or Mist is here, and it's a seven complexity seed, which is also possible. If Mist is at Holy Glasses, that would make it seven complexity, yeah. Turns out counting to six is really fucking hard sometimes. <laughs> so either this is final Vlad or it's missed. So either way, we're fine. The math checks out. The math I, I did in my head checks out. I can only count to four. Yeah. Fair. If only there were like more fingers I could use to get past five. Cause I go one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm stuck. And I'm like, fuck, what do I do? I don't have any more fingers. Shit. And then I explode. Well, this had potential to be like a sub 25 minute seed, but have I heard the parody song? I believe I have. I've been on the internet long enough. I think I might've. I can only count to four. Final Vlad. Bam. Huge. Massive, even. Anyways. Let's get out of here. Nimble is lit! It's fun. Skipping Alchemy Lab went kind of crazy, though. Damn, we shouldn't have done more races of this. I feel like people banned Nimble a lot in that tournament. But I'm a big fan of uh, the Alchemy Lab skip. Because you could always just go and do it later. Like, it's right next to a warp, so it's like... Worst case scenario is you, Alchemy Lab has, like, what, Jewel of Open? Or Mist or something, and then you miss out on the Mist checks. Or the Mist check inside of... Um, 
library. I mean, that's kind of punishing. But you also kind of just like save a minute or two at the very beginning of a, a seed. That's pretty powerful. Saving an entire minute at the very beginning of a seed. So, how did Bounty Hunter go? It was fine, I guess. I mean, I'll pull up the tier list when we're done with this seed and you can see where I placed it. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, no mist. Mist was bait in the seed, which is crazy. That very rarely happens. So mist and spike breaker were both useless relics. Everything else was used. I think that's pretty normal for nimble. So left siders and shambles. Also true. Right side had some some good shit. I mean, specifically, it had gold ring, which is what we needed. Nice fucking gravity jump, nerd. I think randomizer is at its best when you have more movement options. Well, do you want to know why that is? Do you want to know why that is? It's because Symphony of the Night is a video game that is at its best because of its movement. The game's got the best movement in any 2D video game ever. And people aren't ready for that, man. The people out there, the sheeple, the unwashed masses, they're not ready to understand that this is the best movement in any 2D video game ever. They're not ready for that. Their brains would explode under the notion. No, but but my my Mario, Mario Brothers, I have a shell jump. You don't understand. I could throw a shell against a wall and then jump off of it. No, it's 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 really good. You can shell jump in hell. You ever hit a wing smash chain that goes through an entire room and you don't drop it in the middle of a screen transition? Oh. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's movement is ass. I'll say it, dude. Hollow Knight has ass movement. Its boss fights are very well designed, and its combat mechanics are way better than Symphony of the Nights. For sure. By a lot. Like, it's not even close. I'll attack potion. Sure. Why not? How did I overlay the randomizer tool? Uh, screen capture and then chroma key out the background. There it is, 3251. That was like not even the fastest possible nimble seed by, by any means, but it started off really, really strong. To finish what I was saying, Symphony of the Night is the best movement in any 2D video game ever, so obviously the randomizers that give you access to more movement options are gonna feel fun and interesting and exciting because you get to showcase all of the fun movement options chained together in interesting and fun ways and your hands are just fucking making love to the controller the whole time and everybody loves it, everybody has a good time, everybody claps even. Um, anyways, I think that that's enough uh, uh, of a, a preamble for my opinions. Let's see it. It's tier list time. We're looking for... Where did you go? Nimble! I mean, it's just going in the S tier, bro. Uh, it's just going in the S tier. Uh, fun for everyone. Smiley face. Tournament. And... Where's the D? Casually amazing. Uh, we really should be playing this more often. Like, for real, why didn't we get a whole tournament of just this preset? I think that is a pretty good tier 
for it to exist in. Let me know how you feel about my tier list in the comments below. Leave a like, leave a comment, join the live stream over on twitch.tv slash dragonblitz, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.